Hi, how we doing today guys? Welcome to another episode of TR Performance. Today what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to finish up the aluminum stripping on the sides, get it caulked and sealed, and then get ready for paint. Let's start working. Sorry for that super long time lapse, but I did manage to get a lot of stuff done. Um, as you saw previously, got this hatch done, that's all taken care of. And I just finished up the hatch for the galley. So next thing I gotta go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and weather strip all the sides. And then uh, I gotta cut down a little bit off this corner right here, because it's making it to where it won't sit flush onto the weather stripping. And I really want this to be watertight. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that down, get all the weather stripping in here, and we'll be good to go. Alright guys, so I got all the weather stripping taken care of, everything's up on there. I did have a little bit of trouble with this one, I don't have it actually screwed in, this top uh, support for the weather stripping. What I actually did is I put a bunch of liquid nails up on top so that'll waterproof it, uh, because I know there will be water dripping in down here. Uh, and I also left a little bit of a channel on each side so the water can kind of run down and dump out right here. Kind of like a trunk hood, uh, that's basically what I was going for. Or not hood, but uh, yeah, a trunk lid. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, there we go. But uh, yeah, that's all for the hatch today. Uh, I'm gonna go to the hardware store, get a locking mechanism for it. Um, it'll probably be like a little latch that'll flip over onto this bottom side and then lock onto there. Um, other than that, we're done with the hatch, and uh, I'll be right back with uh, what we're gonna do next. Guys, so what I just went ahead and did is I got all the corners aluminum stripped. Basically what I did is I went to the hardware store, got a bunch of aluminum angle and some butyl tape, stuck the butyl tape on both sides of the angle and screwed it in with some self-tapping screws. What I'm gonna go ahead and do, just for some extra protection, I'm gonna get some silicone caulk 
and I'm gonna go ahead and go all, through all the edges on the angle just to make sure that there's that extra protection on water tightness and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get it ready for paint All right, guys, it is getting very late. However, we're gonna press on. Uh, currently, we've got all the uh, masking taken care of. Uh, we got all the caulk in the uh, corners, sealing everything up, making sure we're gonna have a nice, good watertight seal. Got everything that we don't want painted covered so that it does not get painted. And everything else is ready to go. My buddy Augustine here from Miranda Brothers Painting, helping a brother out. And uh, he's taping off the weather stripping on the door right now and then we'll get to painting. See you guys uh, after we're done. So we've run into a little bit of a problem. The uh, gun is continuously spraying, no matter what we do. Augustine, you got a fix for this? You got a fix for this, bud, or what? I'm trying to think. <laughs> uh, well, we got some of the trailer painted so far. Uh, we got the roof, the back. It's coming tomorrow night. Uh, we got a lot of this side painted. You can't really see it because it's pretty dark. Um, but we still got a lot to go. Any fixes? As of right now, I'm out of paint, by the way. Sweet. Let's open up the uh, next one. Really? Is you fucking decide to break as soon as I'm not at work? Or I don't have all my goddamn <laughs> tools, really? Well, I have a bunch of tools. Or are these like special tools that you need? Yeah, this is, these are tiny ass tools. You know, why don't we use the uh, stupid can first? That was my fault. Mm. Out of way. Is that the issue, maybe? We're gonna see if it starts spraying. Hey oh! But is it like continuous again? Alright, can I get can I get that? Thank you. Mm -hmm. What do you think happened? Uh, probably the this little mechanism right here. Uh huh. That probably got stuck. Ooh. That's fun. No, it's not. Do you think it's fixed now? <sighs> what the fuck is going on? I have no idea, but I'm gonna. You're wasting my paint. That I got you. I paid top dollar for that. All right, it looks like we're working again. Out of way. Go, Ago. It's stuck. No, it's not. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and send it back to the time lapse now that we got it uh, fixed.
Back out doing the second coat right now. My buddy Augustine being a professional painter man, he's got this all handled up. I don't want to mess anything up, so I'm just going to let him do everything on his own. Uh, there's going to be one last time lapse in this video of uh, Augustine just painting away. And then uh, the next thing you'll see is uh, tomorrow when it's uh, nice and sunny out and I can actually show you all the paint. So uh, enjoy this last time lapse guys. few days since we've painted uh, let it all get cured and all that now that it's sunny out y'all can see the color that I chose with it's a nice dark gray um, I believe the paint name is called like uh, Gariator or something like that it's something weird but I really like the color originally I was going to uh, go with the color that color matched to my truck my uh, 2014 Silverado over there however uh, this color caught my eye and I uh, thought it really popped with the black and I thought it would really look good. So uh, yeah, that's what we went with. Thanks for watching today, guys. And uh, remember, build what you dream.